Hey people, we're on our way to Brink Bike Shop today where some sick things are happening in preparation for a massive ride. And Squarespace have brought this video to you today. They are the all-in-one online platform that allow you to build an unreal online presence and run your very own business. And it's very cool that they've worked with me on some bike build videos, some trail building videos, and now today's video. Ooh, yeah. The Dream Trail Bike is back in action, almost. I've got to get all the Ecuadorian dirt off of it. The last time I rode this bike was in Ecuador, in South America. So I'm going to clean it up and in there is Brink Bike Shop. So today, this bike's getting quite heavily upgraded and prepared for tomorrow, which is a day at Revolution Bike Park. So in order to take a trail bike to Revolution, a proper aggressive bike park with big jumps, all of that stuff, I'm going to change some parts on this bike and get it properly set up for some hardcore riding. Right, so this is Adam, he's one of the suspension technicians here at Brink, up the plush end of the workshop. And now my trail bike's in the stand, it's worth explaining why I'm here. So, in Ecuador, I realised my suspension wasn't really ramping up very well, and I kept throwing more and more air into the shock and into the forks, just to make it harder and harder, because I wanted that compression, because I do quite big jumps, and I like to land quite heavy, I often land flat, case, and my suspension needs to be set up for that, because I've only got 120 mil. And going to Revolution Bike Park tomorrow, same story, there's gonna be 50 foot jumps, I need a lot of compression. So rather than just throwing air in both, which is all I know how to do, Adam's gonna strip everything down, literally take the shock apart, remove bits from the forks, and reassemble it to feel a lot, lot better. In but, theory. But you can explain that a lot better than me. Uh, yeah, so we are going to do a shim tune. So we're going to do a compression tune for the fork and shock, uh, make them stiffer because as you said, you do big jumps, you land heavy, you've got poor technique, so we need to compensate for that. Um, and we're going to throw uh, volume spacers in the shock, again to help with the ramp, so you don't have to run that ridiculous high air pressure. When he says throw them in, like you'll see, the shock needs 100% dismantling. Like this is way beyond my knowledge of mechanics and like the guy who's phoning up now was probably gonna require the same sort of help and service. So while Adam's gonna be taking things apart and doing this, Ben and I are gonna head over to the other end of Brink and I got a lot of flack and a lot of stick for this Dide Bro setup, this paint protection. We're in the home of Dide Bro in the UK, so we're gonna find a much better one and hopefully please more of you. things I haven't even really got the shock apart yet and uh, you can see from Matt's heavy handedness um, he's bottomed this out so hard that all of the air has swapped into the negative chamber so this chamber here is that cool it's cool but what have I done so this is supposed to be equal but it's a much smaller chamber and it's supposed to when it fully extends swap back so you've got equal pressure in this bit and also this bump here in this case it's over pressurized this so I've let all the air out of the positive chamber and it's now just fully compressed. Oh, it's vacuumed itself. Basically, yeah. So I'm going to have to overinflate it and try and get it to swap out. So it's nothing major. Are you going to explode? Hopefully not. The other thing that... That's so bent. ...is Matt's banana banana flavoured truck bolt. <laughs> um, How's that happened? Probably in the same bottom out. Do we have spare bolts here? Yeah, yeah, I think we've got some. God, I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> thank, thank the Lord I came here. Haven't even got the shock apart yet, so we'll see what other wonders are in there. It's yeah. going to feel mega tomorrow though, I've been riding a bent shock bolt with all the air in the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> in deep thought maybe he's in shock 
Right, I'm also changing my tyres today to much more hardcore UK appropriate ones. So these are the Trail King, which if you look at the tread pattern, they're like, there's not a great deal going on. They're really fast rolling and very lightweight, but for like Welsh bike parks and things, I'm going for the Dirk Kaiser tyre, which if you put your thumbnail in the, like, I went to the Continental factory last year to see how they're made. It's insane and it shows because the like tacky doesn't even come close. You can actually sink your nail into that stuff. And look at the difference. That's like a proper downhill tire. So for tomorrow, that's gonna create the biggest difference. Way more support in corners, way more grip. I don't know what the, the weather's gonna suck. Struggling? Yeah, always happens when I'm on camera. Oh, you really oh that. nice. Wow. Are you gonna be able to make it look like that was me that did that? Probably not, mate. <laughs> Oh no. Made a mess. It's alright. We can do a nice little wipe down later. Pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. Gotta pump it up. Oh! Insta bang. Oh! That is gonna be unreal tomorrow. Don't you know? Pump it up. So, in the time it's taken me to change two tyres, Adam's completely stripped down a shock, found all the bent bits, found all the problems, and it's now in as many bits as it could be. Please don't sneeze. So you've got a, what Olams have called, mind the mess, a C30 tune. So it's the, kind of their medium compression tune. Well, so uh, by looking at the order that these came out, you know how it's tuned? Yeah, so I know it's got that tune there. And obviously we want more, more is better. So we're gonna put the C60 tune in. What is more? More, stiffer or stiffer. more compression? More compression, so yeah, it will be stiffer. So what's worth mentioning, is that plush don't just make your suspension they're not just making my suspension better they're making it better for me and what i require from a bike tuning so, specific for you. Yeah. yeah adam knows that we've had that conversation off camera many times you guys know the way i ride my bike but if you come here it's going to be that conversation what are you looking to get from your bike what style of riding are you into then these guys can set your bike up perfectly for that so for me the priority is big jumps heavy landings with the odd backflip and that means going to the extreme end the of the tune, tune list, the backflip tune. Yeah. Right, I'm now gonna do Died Bro Kit, as sure. promised. So let's see what you can right. achieve in the time that I can I'll choose a sticker. This. Okay, we've been in this very situation before. Choosing kits. The best thing is you can just take, take it off and try another one, but I do wanna get the right one. Let's have a look. Damn, that's cool. Oh, it's an old VHS tape. That's sick. Yeah, I like it. Look, it's called video cassette. I actually really like it. That's the one. And look at the chainstay bit. Oof. This one. Tattoos for bikes. You see the sort of decisions we're responsible for while Adam's over there doing the most advanced technical suspension engineering. Now give it a good clean with some alcohol wipes. And then when that's dry, we can go on with the new videotape theme. Careful now. Adam's finished, by the way. He's done with the shot. You completely done? Yeah. Done. Yes. Is there a non-bent shock bolt as well? There is. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. Adam's fitted the shock, which I'm certain is gonna feel unreal, especially tomorrow in Wales, hitting big jumps. So next, fork, I guess. Yep, same thing. Which is, is that simpler? Yes and no. Uh, I still have to take the lowers off, but I don't have to touch the air spring at all, whereas the shock you saw literally Exploded. every night. Yeah, yeah, everything comes out, so a little bit easier. Good man, thank you. And the die broke kit is a lot more subtle than the old design. The other one was Larry, which I like, but this one's more subtle, and I think to a passerby looks a bit less floral. So the fork's got to come off. While Adam does that, I'm gonna fit these Gusset S2 grips, get rid of the old ones. These are, honestly, they're so comfy in your hands. So we're both working on one bike and it's almost there. So first thing first, I've got to take the lowers off. They can stay there. Now I've got access to the damper. So I'm gonna take this out. 
air spring doesn't need to change, we're not, we're not doing anything to that. Just literally taking this off and then shim tuning, same as the shock. Adam's nearing completion with his shim tune off the fork, so when that's back on, the bike is ready for a heavy, the heaviest days bike park shredding tomorrow. Just want to show you something. The world's most expensive and premium towel holder, blue roll holder. It's probably, there it is, there's the Kashima logo. It's a Fox 40 Kashima Stanchion, circa 600 pound towel rail holder. But Adam can vouch for the fact it's one of the fastest towel dispensers he's ever used. Oh yeah, it, it, it pulls off so quickly. It's going back on. Like a glove. Next step, Revolution Bike Park. Haven't been in ages. Job done. I'm so excited to feel the new setup. There's no point bouncing around the car park if I'm off to a, off to a proper, proper bike park. The most legendary bike park in the UK, really. Biggest jumps, fastest tracks, flat out sections. And I'm stoked to be taking quite a short travel bike. It's gonna be a true test. Most people have downhill bikes up there or a long travel enduro bike. I've got a long travel enduro bike, but I'm choosing to take this one because so much went into this build, especially here at Brink, so much. The, the best spec bike, the, my favorite bike I've ever built. So it feels right just to take it, especially after I've had all these upgrades today. It's gonna feel a lot better. So next step is a full test in Wales. And here she is. Massive shout out to Brink and Adam at Plush for transforming my bike. I'm stoked on the new grips. I'm stoked on the new downhill tires. I'm stoked on the dyed bro kit. Let me know what you think. The best thing about it is you can just take it off and start again. So I'm trying to please you people back at home. And massive shout out to Squarespace for supporting this video. The platform really does have everything. It's been so cool for me and Ben with our website. My fiance has just started a new company and Squarespace has been massive. It's got multiple contributors where you can adjust your permissions and various people can access the platform, access the website and make changes, which is very cool. You can set up email campaigns so that everything like the pure image of your website and the brand behind it, just what you want to look like in someone's inbox. You can target those people, put it in their inbox, which is very, very, very cool. And if you want to get started with Squarespace, and when you're ready to hit launch, go to my description, click the link, and there's a discount code in that description as well. That will get you 10% off your very own first purchase on the website, which is a massive help. And then you can get started using the platform. Thank you to those guys, thank you to you guys, thank you to you Ben, thank you to the Brink guys and thank you to the Welsh people for having an incredible bike park to launch this bike off of jumps tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. See you there, bye. Legend.